pride in the lion. There's only one alpha lion. Some, some uh, have alpha females as well to run with the alpha male. What that does is get through the process of natural selection, the strongest gene reproduces itself in, 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 the, in the family. So the survival of the fittest, the baddest, strongest one is the one that rules. That's called the alpha man. For my West Indian and Hispanic brothers and sisters, the alpha male was killed in the continental United States. And any that wanted to come up after, say like in the 1960s, many African American alpha males were killed and, and Caucasian Americans who supported African Americans who were alpha male and female were killed. So when we used to do workshops in Robles Park, the children would say, I don't want to be no black leader. They kill black leaders. So there's a lot of different ways to kill the men. So in South Africa, sisters, I need you all, please, I need this for the sisters. In South Africa, there was a uh, preserve. And the preserve had a shortage of, of elephants. So uh, this was in the, uh, in the, in the 19, early 1990s. So what they did was they went and got some male elephants from another preserve and put them on a plane and flew them to the preserve where there was a shortage of uh, males. But they weren't uh, bull males, they were bucks. You know, like we call them young jits. So after a while, the jits started tearing everything up. This is true. You see this on the nature channel. They started tearing everything up. They started attacking rhinoceros. Who ever heard of an elephant attacking rhinoceros? So the scientists said, what is this about? And then they realized that in their importation from one preserve to the next, they did not bring any bull elephants, alpha elephants. They only brought bucks. So the young kids were tearing everything up. And when they get in heat, they call them rip. You know, a uh, uh, black uh, uh, fluid starts running down the side of their face. And you know, Chump started feeling itself. So he started tearing everything up. So they, by, the, by the 2000s, they had the technology to fly these big elephants in. <clears throat> so they started flying in some alpha bulls. And within two weeks, the jit fell in line. Two weeks. That's God's creation acting in the natural order that he created it. So here we come, sisters, 30% of our houses have been. So, you know, you said, what? It's time to uh, get ready for school. Got down that way. And he ain't moved. I come in and say, hey, get your ass out of that bed, boy. Now, where, now where you going to do? You don't get up. So, so <laughs> 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 so I don't like what you made me feel, man. That's what you're right, how you made me, how you talking. Athletes and punks, they can, they can catch all the football, just then, uh, score all the points, but their emotions are distorted. Our balance is distorted because you, sister, do the best you can with that trying ass nigga that left you. I understand that. And you trying to do, but that boy needs a man if he gonna go somewhere. 